welcome to That Deacon on YouTube this January 2017. This month, I'd like to put an idea into your ear. Something that I did maybe four or five years ago, which turned out to be a really special day for everyone. What I did was celebrate Earth Day walking around a botanical garden. Lucky for us in La Cañada, we have Descanso Gardens. Uh, as you all know, that's where I do my uh, thoughtful walking group every week. But five years ago, I decided to put together a contemplative exploration of Earth Day. And really, what this does is help people look at the world and themselves and embrace diversity and liberty, and justice, and peace, all through the eyes of nature. So what I did is put together a little booklet, and in that booklet we had maybe about seven or eight stations, pre-chosen places throughout the garden. When we got to this spot in the garden, uh, someone read a reflection, there was a whole slew of psalms that had to go with that reflection. And then people were given a chance to rest with these psalms or the reflection uh, within that allotted space and time. Another assignment I gave the people was to employ the use of their cell phones. You know, most cell phones nowadays use uh, or have a, a camera. So what I asked them to do was to pick a section of the psalm that really touched them at that particular station. And then I asked them to take a picture that would coincide with the psalm that they had based it on. These psalm quotes were sent back to me along with their picture, and then we posted them on our church website along with the psalm quote. So you might be curious, well, where did I find uh, materials for this day? Uh, one of the books I know I remember using is a really neat guide. Um, it's called Earth Prayers from Around the world. Uh, it says it has 365 prayers and poems and invocations for honoring the earth. Uh, it is put out by Harper Collins. Uh, this has been invaluable for me over the years, grabbing short, short, concise little uh, uh, thoughts and prayers that you can use. Um, I would suggest you think about that. Uh, another place that I find material sometimes is on a website called World Prayers, and it has a searchable index. Uh, so that gives you a way to go through all of the different prayers and uh, poems they have on that site as well. Another resource I use is called Life Prayers. And uh, this is similar to the other book. I believe this was the second edition. Uh, this also has a lot of resources, and it's easy to thumb through. Uh, what I tend to do is put little marks on the book, and I go back and figure out which ones I will use for that project. So, this April 22nd is Earth Day. And I think it would be kind of nice if you have near your church uh, or in your community a botanical garden or a place that will allow you to set up about six or seven stations uh, to get a group of people. Uh, all you have to do is put together a little booklet um, and it will be a remarkable contemplative experience. We all know that in our hectic society today, uh, contemplation is something that most people either are afraid of or run from, uh, but it's an invaluable tool to center people spiritually. 
because when you're centered spiritually, it allows you to navigate a lot of the aggressions, a lot of the challenges and changes that happen throughout the year and one's life. So you might be wondering, what does Earth Day have to do with what's going on in the world today, especially with us in the United States? Well, I think it has a lot to do with what's going on. Not too long ago, over a million women and their supporters marched. And if you looked at the signs, the signs spoke to many different things, not just women's issues. And what does nature show us? Nature shows us the wonder of diversity. Diversity in living things. Diversity in making room so others can grow. I think that's what people were talking about when they marched last week. And when a group of people turns inward and refuses to look outward, they only care for their own needs. This is in direct, direct opposition to what nature teaches us. So I think that celebrating Earth Day is something that can benefit each and every one of us because it talks to a full range of issues, a full range of ideas, and talks about ways in which we can live to make our lives better and at the same time care for our fragile fragile but beautiful planet. I'm speaking to you from the area where we finished our Earth Day Reflection Walk. Our group uh, stood right in the middle of this open area and we used the American Indian First Nation blessing of all four corners of the earth. And we did this in public and stood there facing north, south, east, and west and completed our uh, reflection that day. Right now, I'd like to close the video with a few shots from that Earth Day. And I hope you consider using Earth Day as a way to engage your people, to engage people with the Earth, to engage people with each other, and to have people really look at what nature can teach us about ourselves, our society, and the way we can bring about the kingdom of God.